Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're going to talk about Bitcoin, and we're going to be putting back on our on-chain analysis hat. And specifically in this video, we're going to be looking at the percentage of supply in profit and loss. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at IntoTheCryptoverse.com. You'll get access to this chart, as well as a lot of other charts. Now, a lot of times what we do is you might look at one of these, like the supply in profit, something like this. And, and you'll notice that it does tend to bottom historically around here. It was around 50% back in you know 2011, reached you know between 40 and 50% or so. Next cycle, again, the same thing, the cycle after that. Right now, it's currently sitting at around 57, okay? Now, what's interesting is if we look at the supply and loss, it tells a very similar story, okay? But what I what I really like to do is I like to look at both of them overlaid and then take some type of a moving average and kind of see what it what story is it telling. And what you'll notice is that the accumulation phase before the next bull before the next bull run tends to occur when the 30-day SMA of the supply in profit and loss when they cross, right? So you can see here in 2011 they crossed you could argue that was the accumulation phase for the next bull run. Here they cross as well. This is the accumulation phase again as well here at the end of 2018, early 2019. And, and so the idea is, well, is it that simple? And you can see that the 30-day SMA of these are, in, in fact, getting closer, right? Now, remember, moving averages are lagging indicators. Um, so, you know, you need to keep that in mind. This will likely continue to go up. This will likely continue to go down for a little bit. But... If these cross and, you know, do some nonsense like this where they dance for a few months, that could be a good indication of an accumulation phase before another major bull run. Now, look, guys, that doesn't mean we can't have relief rallies. We've talked about relief rallies, you know, but I also think people should sort of recognize that even if we get a relief rally, Bitcoin's likely not going to 100K, you know, not, not right now. So... I think right now we are in the phase of you just need to be patient. You need to, you know, you need to recognize we'll probably be around these prices for, for quite some time. Even if we get a rally, uh, even back up to 40K, it doesn't necessarily change anything. So look at some of these longer term indicators like the supply in profit and loss. And, you know, I mean, you don't even have to apply moving average to it. You can kind of see the same trend without a moving average. And, and look to see when these things cross. And when they do, at least historically, it has been, um, it, has been it, it precedes the next, the next bull run. So we'll see, if that, we'll, we'll see if that actually plays out again. But again, if you guys, we're going to keep it short and sweet today. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and you can get access to this, as well as a ton of other on-chain charts and other charts as well at IntoTheCryptoverse.com. We do have the sale into the Cryptoverse Premium uh, going on. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.